Welcome to Center of Maths, a uh, new series on unusual properties in math. In this series, we'll talk about uh, just we'll give examples of functions, series, sequences that have properties you might not expect you could have in a function sequence or series, uh, like fields that can't be ordered, functions aren't continuous anywhere, or uh, other unusual uh, uh, unusual properties of uh, different mathematical objects. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about fields and orderings. Uh, so first, so we're going to say uh, a field, it can be ordered if we have a subset of the field P such that say X is in P, Y is in P, then uh, is closed under multiplication and addition of the field, so X plus Y is in P, X times Y is in P. And for each X in the field, either X is P, X is the zero element, or minus X is in P. So if we can find a set such that the field uh, has such a set satisfying these axioms, we say we can order the field. So, so we can show, uh, we can give an example of an infinite uh, field that cannot be ordered. So uh, comp the complex numbers is an example of such a field. So we assume we do have such a subset P with our previous axioms. We're going to look at i, the imaginary element in the complex field, complex numbers. So we say, say i, we say it's positive, so it's in the set. Then that implies i squared, and i to the fourth is also in the set, since it's closed under multiplication. i squared is negative 1, i to the fourth is 1. So that's i squared plus i to the fourth equals 0. But it's closed under addition, so that implies 0 is positive, but we can't have that. 0 is not, uh, by one of the axioms, if it's the element is 0, then it is not in the, the set. Uh, and same, if we assume i is not in the set, uh, i is negative, then minus i is in the set, and we do the same thing, we arrive at a contradiction. And so uh, the complex numbers cannot be ordered. Uh, so we can give an example of a field that can be ordered in two separate ways. Uh, so consider the field of elements of x of the form x plus root 2, y over 2, where x and y are rational numbers. Uh, this is a field we can take inverses, multiply, uh, add, subtract. And yeah, so it'll be this form. So one way we can order this field is just consider these real numbers. We can order it the usual way. The other way we say x plus y over 2 is in our set p, or it's a positive number if, and only if x minus y over 2 is a positive real number, so positive in the usual sense. And we see this will satisfy our axioms because uh, if two of these are in P, that means this is, uh, two of them are, two of these forms are both real, positive real numbers. We multiply them together, we have a positive real number. Uh, same for addition, so it's going to be closed under addition and multiplication. And since uh, the usual ordering, it also satisfies the third axiom, so it's either zero, negative, or positive, then uh, that axiom will also satisfy this new ordering. So this uh, new ordering, where x plus y root 2 is in our set P, if and only if x minus y root 2 is a positive real number, is a new ordering, and then that with the usual ordering, uh, x plus y root 2 is in our set P, if and only if it itself is a positive real number. So we have two different orderings on this field. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out centermaps.org, check out our blog, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and if you like this video, please check out our other uh, unusual properties in math uh, video videos in our video series. Uh, thank you.